Frankfurt. William Noble was Kentucky's governor in 1900. Okay, William Noble was sadly assassinated in 1900 on January 30th. He was assassinated in the state of Virginia. He was born on January 4th in 1800. is the House of Representatives. And here they make the laws, they vote they vote on the laws to make them real. There are only 100 seats in the, the House. This, is, this building was built in 1830 and used till 1910. Please look at the view and it is very amazing. After the law is passed, the law is sent to the Senate. This is the Senate chamber. There are only 38 seats in the Senate. The Senate votes on laws and were led by the Lieutenant Governor back then. After the Senate votes on the laws, the law goes to the Governor. The Arsenal was built in 1850. It was built because the old one exploded in 1836. It was originally painted gray. They stripped the paint in the early 1970s. It was built on the hill because it was easy to ship supplies and see enemies coming. The cutters for the Kentucky State and National Guard. Since 1974, it has served as the Kentucky Military History Museum. The name of my gun is M1917 Browning. Machine gun. It was made in 1970. The Americans and the Koreans used this gun. It was used as an aircraft weapon. It was used in World War One and World War Two. It was also used in the crew serve belt fed water cold machine. G one z aircraft machine gun. The the year they used it was 1938 to 1939. The 81 z aircraft gun, either mounted on a plane or ground. Made by the Lovell Naval Ordnance Station in 1990. M60 is an American machine gun um, that is better than the M60s before. The M6, it was made. In 1952, my grandfather walked home on the beat. The M60 machine gun is a super cool gun, and that is the end of my video. I chose Isaac Shelby. He was the first governor of Kentucky. He was born on December 11, 1750. He died on July 18, 1816. Two terms. The first term was in 1792 to 1796. His second term was in 1812 to 1816. Ori is a complex, the Ori is a complex tool used for learning about the solar system. It was invented by Thomas Barlow to teach his grandkids about the solar system. This invention changed the world forever and stood the test of time where, because, because it was made out of cast iron, brass, and finally wood. Here at Camp Artifact, which is held at the Kentucky Historical Society, we would like to share some of our favorite things here at KHS with you. Hello, I'm going to tell you all about Helen Belfer Morrison. She's a photographer who started a job of photography at age 16, which soon turned into her passion. She is famous for taking pictures of memorable white people or subjects. Out of the three times she took pictures of random black subjects, she took a hundred photos. The times she photographed these were in 1935, 1938, and 1946. Her most memorable backdrops are Zion Hill, Sugar Hill, and Lexington. One album was very popular and it was called Up on Sugar Hill. She was born on August 1st, 1901 and sadly died on November 6th, 1984. She died at the age of 83. Thanks for listening and I hope you learned a lot. Today, I'm talking about this nurse's uniform. It would have been worn in the 1950s during World War II. These uniforms were worn 
by the women who were in the Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service, or WAVE. This is the first all-women branch of the U.S. Navy. I'm Nora, and today I will be talking about mineral riches. Mineral riches are basically just beautiful rocks. There are so many kinds that I can't even mention how many kinds. Some of my favorites are barite, gypsum, and sandstone. My other favorites at the museum are dolomite and a goat. These rocks can be found all over Kentucky, especially geodes. In fact, Victorian Americans used to collect these. I even found, I even found a few by the creek in my neighborhood. And here are three. Here are the geodes that I found at my, like, at the creek at my neighborhood, and I'm not really sure what kind they are. Goodbye. I hope you learned something, and that you hope, that, and that you might collect some of these someday. This is a proper Victorian parlor with beautiful settings and beautiful portraits. looked like. Clothing was made of silk. Women wore corsets so it could shape their hips so then they could fit into their Hi, my name is Ryan I'm, and I'm going to tell you about the high wheel bicycle. Enjoy the film. The high wheel bicycle was made by the Pope Mound Functioning Company. Hartford, Connecticut, 1886. Pope was a Boston merchant known as the father of the bicycle in America, the free country. Bye. Hope you learned something today. I'm ready. In the 1920s, all alcohol became illegal to sell. So people made alcohol secretly in their cellars. This is still that was used to illegally make alcohol in the 1920s. This alcohol could be harmful enough to kill a human being because it was not FDA approved. Hi, my name is Charlie. I'm here with, this is the count of Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone lived from 1734 to 1820. He is America's most famous frontiersman. As you can see, his gun has his initials carved into it. During 1773, him and hundreds of others built a fort in Boonesboro, so they named it Fort Boonesboro. One time, he also saved his daughter and her friends from Indians. He was a very brave and amazing man. He will never be forgotten. If history is important to you, please like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share with your family and friends.